Bobby Bowden with the 14 3 and 1 bowl record 13 2 and 1 at Florida State 1 and 1 when he was the head coach at West Virginia second and 10 from their own 40 no score and to now intercepted by Sean Wooden and he hops ahead to the 50 yard line Damian Harrell able to tackle him around the ankle Thomas Krug signed to attend Notre Dame a couple of days before Ron Paulus decided to go to Notre Dame. Krug said he was disappointed for a couple of days, but then figured he'd just have to go there and do the best he can. Hope to get a chance to play. He shows some running ability. First down and more. He's down at the 35-yard line. Of Third down and 14. And Krug looking toward the end zone for me. Great throw by Krug. I tell you, you don't want to let an inexperienced quarterback get a lot of confidence early in a game like this, Sean, if you're Florida State. But that was one beautiful throw. But it started with the protection, and the offensive line did their part. Krug did his, and Derek Mays just ran under a perfect throw. Canal straight back, setting up a screen. Pooh Bear Williams rumbles up the near sideline and has a first down. He'd be better at 260, they feel. Dunn with the cutback. And when airborne, a uh, season record. He gets the handoff going straight ahead through the hole. First down into Irish territory. And down to the 31-yard line. Sixth play of the drive. And it's done. Looking to throw. Oh, incomplete over the head of Andre Cooper. Lead Abdullah has come in at fullback. Another play action fake by Cannell. And he throws on the run. Touchdown. Andre Cooper. Was that a frozen rope? Now, we have seen two great touchdown passes, one by each team. And we have a tie ball game. Next year, this game moves to Joe Robbie Stadium here in Miami. Edwards, first down, and out to midfield is Mark Edwards. And who wants to tackle him? Byron. Low snap handled by Krug on third and seven. He steps up. Outstanding catch. Ruled a catch by Charles Stafford and a first down. Extra point. Ooh. Ooh. And he put the excitement back in the... Uh, that's a rebound. 20-yard field goal. Uh -huh. Essentially the same as an extra point right in the middle of the field, right on the 10-yard line. But he banked it in. <laughs> and Lou has a word or two for Scott Senja. But Mom might have been downgrading herself to strong like had that been wide in the Orange Bowl. Yeah, it is a bowl game, right? And Lou Holtz. I guess that's encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> He always uh, looks like he's just broken a chain letter or you, something. You can't, yeah. As in, uh, well, not, you know, a doctor. Right, yeah. right, right. Because everyone knows that. Uh, I also, I want to know what these guys eat. Thank you. All right, Andrea, thank you very much. The completion of Wayne Messam. Got them to the 39, and here goes Warwick Dunn. That's a block from E.G. Green. Uh, and he's inside the 30 and down at the 25-yard line. Back. Lined up behind Pooh Bear Williams. On third down and nearly seven. He's in trouble. Canal is sacked. Back at the 35-yard line by John McLaughlin, who comes in in pass rush situations. He's played pretty well tonight. On third down and 11, they pick up the first down. Another catch by Messam for the FedEx Orange Bowl Classic. And the toss goes to Dunn with plenty of running room. First down, close to the 10-yard line. Notre Dame leads 10 to 7. Florida State threatening on third down. Cannell scrambled away from the pressure. Throws to the end zone and a perfect caught. Great catch by Cooper. Entertaining first half in this marquee matchup. Florida State seeking its 11th consecutive bowl win. And Notre Dame trying to end the season with seven straight victories.
Griffin. Well, we've had some penalties that hurt us, and we haven't been as productive on the goal line, and they're explosive on offense, but third downs hurt us on defense. Orpheus Roy made the stop. There's Bob Davey, a little bit soggier than he was moments ago. He is the defensive coordinator for Notre Dame and was the man who took over the head coaching responsibilities when Lou Holtz was sidelined with neck surgery. Third down and four. Opening moments of the third quarter. They want to run the option. And Denson turns the corner and has the first down. And these backs have to wonder if their feet will stay under them when they're making moves like that on the soggy turf. Krug out in the flat. May close to another first down. For flag throw. For Notre Dame on third down and 11. Play action fake. Krug. Jump ball for Mays and roll. And what a play by Mays! <laughs> Oh, oh. This was a heave. This wasn't a pass. He just heaved this thing as high and as far as he could against Roll. And he just takes away. It's the rebound play. He gets his footing. He tips it away and makes the touchdown catch. I mean, two remarkable touchdown receptions. That one by Mays. It was a 42-yard attempt. Long enough, but wide left. Scott Bentley who kicked the national championship winning field goal in this stadium against Nebraska two years ago in the final minute. Well, you were giving in the true holiday spirit. Yeah. Krug on third and six. May has a first down. Third quarter with the score Notre Dame 17, Florida State 14. CBS Sports coverage of the FedEx Orange Bowl will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Yard line. Fair catch signal. He lets it go. Covington in position to down oh, it. Boy, good job. And he will at the one yard line. And he's demonstrated some passing ability. He's also a reserve quarterback. Canell almost out of the back of the end zone. And he throws deep for Cooper. It is a safety. He is rolled on the back line of the end zone, and it's a safety. It certainly looked like it. Jimmy Harper a little bit tardy with the signal, but he made the call. And it's two points for Notre Dame and a five-point deficit facing the Seminoles. On the field, just as punters do when they're back there in that situation. It's his right foot right yep. there. No doubt. Good. Third and two. From their own 45. Farmer cuts back in the secondary. They'll have to catch him from behind, and they do at the five-yard line. Samari Roll saved the touchdown. Remember the opening drive the Irish had in this ball game when they had two quick big runs. Krug after the fake into the end zone touchdown. Pete Kriplevich, the tight end. And Lou Holtz has a lot to be happy about. He's caught a bunch of touchdowns on that route. Irish showing blitz. And Cannell with hand signals to the wideouts. And he throws it to the goal line. Touchdown, E.G. Green. And a great audible by Danny Cannell. I mean, he can beat you with his arm, and there he beat him with his head. 9.47 left. It's the five-point Notre Dame lead. Yeah, and, 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 and the receiver has made it 26-21. Farmer trying to get outside to the left. Lost his footing and slips down for a loss. Back to the 22. You know, just a few moments ago, we saw the Florida State bench, and there were a lot of guys hanging their heads. But after that drive, you can see a little bit more enthusiasm. 
and on the defensive side. Now everybody's standing up. Everybody's getting after their defense. You know, they feel this thing may be changing some. And again, these next two downs for the Florida State Bobby Bowden defense are critical. Loss of two, second and 12, nine minutes remaining. Edwards in trouble, passes back, intended for the quarterback and nearly intercepted. And got the response he was hoping for from Doughty. Third down and 17. Krug has some scrambling room to the far side of the field. He still needs about seven to get the first down and he comes up short. And he responded in a nice way as they handled Air Force with ease. Hunter Smith with the punt. Feaster from the 29. Feaster trying to get to the near side and has some room if he gets there. Dee Feaster. Tackled by the punter, Hunter Smith, at the 30-yard line. A four fourth down and five. 7.03 remaining. Notre Dame leads by five. Connell. Deep down the middle, caught in traffic. E.G. Green down at the three-yard line. Oh, this is fun. They make it look so easy. And what a clutch play by Danny Cannell. I mean, there have been so many clutch guys tonight, but that's as good as it gets right there. And they're looking at second and goal from the three. Touchdown. Andre Cooper's third of the night, and the Knolls lead again. Oh, my. <laughs> they got revved up here in the fourth quarter. Warwick Dunn was injured on the play. Primer shoulder injury for Dunn. That's an Orange Bowl record for Andre Cooper, the junior from Jacksonville. Three. Jeff Bowden, Bobby's son, signals in the offensive play. Cooper looked like he pushed off, but he got away with it. There's the fade route. And the defensive back, Rossman, coverage got up right in the face of the official saying Cooper pushed off. He was gesturing with two hands extended. No flags on the play, and Florida State leads by three. Farmer following Edwards. Gets the block from Edwards, and it's into the secondary. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. First and 10, 5.20 remaining. Edwards lost the football, and it's recovered by Henry Crockett. What a weekend for the Crockett. Zach for the Chargers against the Chargers for Indianapolis yesterday, and now Henry Crockett with a huge play for Florida State tonight. Second and 10, inside handoff, Warwick Dunn delivered a stiff arm to Kinnon Tatum and was tackled by Laron Cobbins at the 35-yard line, about two yards short of a first down. You know the amazing thing there? Kinnon Tatum, number two, the linebacker for Notre Dame, was spying Warwick Dunn. He first and 10 at the 30. Preston, good cut to the inside. He's inside the 10 and back. Quick pass, looking again for Cooper. Incomplete. For Notre Dame, as you might expect, at their own three. Krug has been very solid. Now he has a chance to become a hero. That's not the way to do it. Incomplete pass, but he did avoid the safety. And a flag is thrown. That'll be a safety. If that's intentional grounding. And... Jimmy Harper, the referee, threw the flag. Will this be our second? We have intentional grounding in the end zone. That was not an eligible receiver in the area. Safety. My goodness. There was a receiver, I believe. And remember, Jimmy was talking to us. We had a meeting today with Jimmy Harper and said he has not called an intentional grounding play all year long. It is a judgment call by the referee. And they will not. Florida State had a battle tonight but they have extended their ncaa record of consecutive bowl wins to 11. and i think both of these teams are going to be in the national championship hunt in 1996. Both yes it was a national championship <laughs> yeah it seemed like the national championship i'm really proud of the way our kids came back 
But you gotta you gotta give Lou Holtz a heck of a lot of credit to take a do what he is doing with this young quarterback. Uh, we we're lucky to win the darn game.